Welcome to this machine tool video, Flex Arm Operations. The Flex Arm is a very handy tool in a machine shop. It is used to power tap holes that are already drilled in a part. After watching this video, you will know the different parts of the Flex Arm, how to set it up, and how to operate the Flex Arm. The Flex Arm consists of a base, which in this case, the base is mounted to a table, an arm, which can rotate around the base, a second arm, which is connected to the first arm and can rotate. The second arm is also able to go up and down. At the end of the second arm is a mount where the head or motor of the machine is mounted. With the two arms that are able to rotate and the second arm being able to go up and down, the operator is able to get to many different locations. As the second arm is raised and lowered, the head automatically stays vertical or at 90 degrees to the table. Located on the second arm is counterweight that can be adjusted as the weight of the head changes. The weight of the head will change as different sized tools are mounted in the head. To move the counterweight, loosen the lock knob by turning it counterclockwise. Once the knob is loose, the counterweight will be able to slide along the arm. As the weight of the head decreases, the position of the counterweight will move towards the head. As the weight of the head increases, the position of the counterweight will move away from the head. To clamp the counterweight, tighten the knob by turning it in a clockwise direction. The purpose of the counterweight is to balance the machine so that the head stays where the operator wants it to stay. Also, when the machine is balanced, the operator does not fight against the weight of the tool. The head or motor is an air motor. This means that it needs compressed air to operate. Located on the first arm is an air regulator and the fitting for connecting air supply to the machine. To supply air to the machine, connect a compressed air line to the inlet fitting on the machine. Located on the side of the machine is the throttle lever. Pressing the throttle lever will spin the spindle of the head in a clockwise direction. The more you press on the throttle lever, the faster it will go. The head is also capable of spinning in a counterclockwise direction or reverse. To do this, press and hold the reverse button and then press the throttle lever. Different sizes of taps are able to be used in the flex arm as long as it is a tap that can be used to machine tap or power tap. Make sure not to use a hand tap in the flex arm. Due to the different sizes of taps that can be used in the flex arm, there are many different adapters to choose from. Each adapter can receive only a certain size tap. On the adapter is a locking ring. This locking ring is spring-loaded. In the inside of the adapter is a square where the end of the tap goes into. This square is how the adapter drives the tap. To mount the tap, press the retaining ring, insert the tap in the hole, rotate the tap until the square on the tap and the adapter align, and then release the retaining ring. Now the tap is locked into the adapter. Once the tap is mounted into the adapter, it is now time to mount the adapter into the head of the flex arm. The head will use dogs to drive the adapter. The dogs on the adapter will need to align with the dogs on the head. Insert the adapter into the head and align the dogs. To lock the adapter into the head, pull up on the collar on the head and insert the adapter all the way into the head. Once the adapter is inserted all the way into the head, release the collar. Now the adapter is locked into the head. To remove the adapter from the head, pull up on the collar and the adapter will be released. This machine is equipped with a drill chuck that has the correct adapter on it to mount into the head. The reason for having the drill chuck is to countersink holes if needed. The drill chuck is mounted into the head, just like a tap would be. To mount the countersink in the drill chuck, insert the countersink into the drill chuck and stug the chuck. Use a chuck key to fully tighten the chuck. The part that is being worked on needs to be mounted. It can either be clamped to the table or mounted in a vise. In this example, a vise will be used. When mounting the part, the operator should be able to reach all the holes. With the countersink mounted in the flex arm, bring the head down to the part and align the countersink in the hole. Press the throttle lever to rotate the spindle and apply slight down pressure. Repeat this procedure for all the holes that need to be countersunk. Once the holes are ready to be tapped, Mount the correct tap into the adapter and then into the head of the flex arm. Make sure that the counterweight is adjusted properly for the weight of the tap. 
Move the head so that the tap is just above the hole that needs to be tapped, applying tapping fluid to the hole and the tap. Press the throttle lever so the tap is spinning. Bring the tap down to the part. The tap will start to feed itself into the hole. When the desired depth is reached, release the throttle lever. To get the tap out of the hole, press and hold the reverse button, and then press the throttle lever until the tap is out of the hole. When tapping, let the machine do the work. Do not apply pressure up or down. Repeat this process until all the holes are tapped. In this video, the parts of the flex arm were explored, setting up the flex arm was explained, and operating the flex arm was demonstrated. You have completed this machine tool video, Flex Arm Operations.